Kindly click GST03. It will prompt out GST03 info. Or you may click other GST03 info in order for you to key in your details. Name of authorized person and IC number must be filled in. For non Malaysian, then you must fill in your passport number. Kindly fill in your name and IC number. Once you fill in, you may click OK. You may click Hide Options in order for you to get a larger view of your GST03. This is your GST03. It contains four parts, which are Part A until Part D. Part A is Details of Registered Person. Number one is your GST Registration Number. Number two is Name of Business. Part B is Details of Return. Number three is the Taxable Period. It will show the Start Date and the End Date. Number four is Return and Payment Due Date. Number 5 is regarding output tax. 5A is total value of standard rated supply, means your total sales for standard rated item. You also can click on the amount in order to get the transaction drill down. Five B is total output tax. You also can click on the amount to get the transaction drill down. The amount of 5B will be 6% of 5A. Number 6 is regarding input tax. 6A is total value of standard rated acquisitions, means your total purchase for standard rated item. You also can click on the amount to get the transaction drill down. 6B is total input tax. The amount of 6B will be 6% of 6A, so you may try to calculate and check for it. Number 7 is GST amount payable, means your total output tax minus your total input tax, which is item 5B minus item 6B. If the amount show at here, means you have to pay to custom. Number 8 is GST amount claimable, means your total input tax minus your total output tax, which is item 6B minus item 5B. If the amount show at here, means you can claim from custom. Number 9 is selection whether you want to carry forward the refund for GST or not. By default, we'll check no. If you want to carry forward the refund, you may go to show options and get the other GST03 info. You may check carry forward refund for GST and click OK. Then it will change to yes. If you don't want to carry forward then you may uncheck it and click OK. Part C is additional information. Number 10 is total value of local zero rate supplies. Number 11 is total value of export supplies. Number 12 is total value of exam supplies. So the amount of your realized gain or loss will show at here. Other items you may have a look. Number 19 is the crucial part, which is MSIC code and value of output tax. MSIC code is your major industry code which is 5 digits that representing your business nature. You may refer to your application form of GST or your income tax document in order to get your MSIC code. MSIC code must be filled in. If you just have one MSIC code, then the percentage will be 100%. This percentage is used to show the sub portion of output tax in percentage for each respective MSIC code comparing to your total output tax. If you have more than one MSIC code, then the percentage will distribute accordingly. If there is output tax, 
which is without MSIC code, it will show at others here. Part D is declaration. If you want to submit manually, then you may get the GSD-03 form from custom and fill in accordingly. So this is the explanation of GSD-03. Kindly click show option to get the option. For online submission of GSD return, you need to generate GSD return file and save a copy which will be attached during online submission at taxpayer access point, which is TAP. Kindly click generate GSD return file and define a destination, then save the file. You may click yes if you want to view your GSD return file. This is your GSD return file. GST audit file GAF must be made available upon request from our MCD. You may generate GAF and keep a soft copy file after you have finalized the content of the taxable period. Kindly click Generate GAF and define a destination, then you may save the file. You may click Yes if you want to view the file. This is your GAF file. Export Lamperan 2 in Excel, this is the new function of AutoCount. This function allows users to create the Lamperan 2 report, which the custom may request when the user is requesting tax refunds from custom. To access this function, just click Export Lamperan 2 in Excel, then define the destination and save the file. You may click Yes if you want to view Lamperan 2. This is your Lamperan 2 in Excel file. After submitted GST return, either using GST03 or GST return file, you have to commit the process period. Kindly click Commit. and key in your admin password, click OK, and click Yes to commit this GST processor. Once you click Commit, you cannot delete the GST processor for this taxable period. However, you must click Commit in order for you to run processor for the subsequent taxable period. Upon committing the processor, a journal entry will be generated to reconcile the balance of input tax account and output tax account and transfer the difference to GST control account. So you may see it here, the commit button will change to view committed journal entry. You may click on this in order for you to view the journal entry. So this is the journal entry. The difference of output tax and input tax will be transferred to GST control account. You also may go to GL, account maintenance. This is the chart of account, then you may file the GST control account. And this is the amount we have to pay to custom. Now you can do the payment voucher and make the payment to custom. Kindly go to GL, cash book entry, create a new cash transaction, and new payment voucher, pay to RMCD. We assume that you pay on May, the description is GST April 2015 The payment method is cash and the amount is 211.73 Kindly select GST control account and you may save the payment voucher
So this is the explanation of GST processor. Thanks for watching.